You may remember last year we went to Brittany in France and uh, we had a bit of a running with a tree. I reversed into it. It's a very small tree. This is a annoying campsite because it's all so compact. We've had an accident. We've just ripped off, hit a tree in reverse, ripped off the bike rack. Uh, but uh, I managed to damage the bike rack, only the bike rack, Herman's fine. Um, but I, 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 you know, I had to take it off, bend it back into shape and fit it back on before I could, we can move off. But uh, unfortunately the cross member that fits the, uh, uh, the bikes to the bike rack, uh, the mounting clips, there's two mounting clips at the, uh, either side of that, they snapped. So they kind of uh, go round the pole uh, in a kind of a book fashion, they're hinged in the middle, um, but that would split on both both of the connectors there. So I had to look around for a replacement. I found, looked on the internet, uh, found some model numbers, inquired with Hymer, but uh, nothing. There's, n there's no markings on the oh, model number on the bike rack itself. Well, I did find this symbol though, and I think it's uh, from a company called Omnister, uh, and they were purchased by Tull, that's T-H-U-L-E, uh, many years ago apparently. Uh, so um, they couldn't help me either though. They basically took me back round to Hymer, asked me to, uh, told me to go and speak to uh, the supplier of the bike rack, which is Hymer. Uh, so dead end. So it, I kind of had the idea that what I needed to do is make sure that these clamps, when they're on there, they didn't actually fall off. So what I did was I got some Jubilee clips. Now these Jubilee clips, uh, I bought uh, 50 to 60 mil. Uh, they're probably a bit too big, but any smaller would have been too small. Um, so they will find just a bit of uh, extra at the end of that, extra metal at the end of that. I also got an old inner tube, uh, cut it into strips so I could wrap around the, uh, the pole and then protect the plastic from the tight fitting uh, Jubilee clip. So assembly was fairly simple, as you could imagine. Um, but unfortunately, I figured out soon enough uh, that um, if I fixed one side, I couldn't get the pole on and then do the other side. So uh, what I managed to do is disassemble it, fit it all together without the, the clips and the, uh, the, the, pla the rubber uh, tubing, and, and then assemble it then. And that was, made it a lot easier. Wiggling the, uh, the, the pole in between, that was probably the hardest part, but uh, you know, a bit of finagling, a bit of bending, and uh, simple. So now the last thing I had to do, once that was all tightened up and uh, secure, all I had to do was fit the, uh, the clamps that come down from the cross member and attach to the bike. Fairly simple stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you um, in the future if your bike rack gets damaged or even now if your bike rack is sitting in the garage uh, gathering dust. So uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. I did the, I did the salute. Why do I? Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more video updates or maybe even watch one of our previous videos. Bye bye now.